I was always good at artwork, but I took it for granted. I discovered that I had a passion for it after high school. At that time in high school, young black kid, you know, it wasn't cool to do art. So I fought, I fought my destiny for a long time. My name is Chuck Stiles, professional visual artist from the Philadelphia area. I think the biggest influence on the, you know, you can do it, you can, you know, follow your art dream, probably would be my little cousin, Desiree. Um, she passed away when she was nine. Prior to her passing away, she was a dancer. She did a lot of uh, recitals all over the country, Disney World, things like that. I was inspired by my little cousin and she was only eight years old. When she was nine and she passed away, I kind of like made a vow to myself, like, you know, if my little cousin was going this hard, then, you know, it, it's, only, it's only right that I, I go hard for her. I uh, ended up, you know, applying to Art Institute of Philadelphia, I just felt free. And I felt, you know, with, with my, the ideas that I had in my head, I could, I could do and say things uh, that would inspire other people. The one thing that I love about Philly is that we breed creative as people. Like music, visual arts, design. The, the reason why I chose to do this interview here in Rec Philly was because I've, I've watched them from a distance starting out providing a place and opportunity for Philadelphia creatives. And to see that they have this space right here, which is right in the heart of downtown Philadelphia, because we have so much talent, we have so much um, creativity, but not enough commercial national outlets to showcase it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Damari Seville is owned by um, Philadelphia Eagles um, pro athlete Malcolm Jenkins. Malcolm is a dope dude, man. Like, you know, when I started learning about the things that he did off the off the field as well, like I said, I, I, I back anybody or any brand that like really promotes positivity or um, or, or, or just um, justice in a sense. Um, and so I, I think that my pieces are a, a reflection of Malcolm Jenkins' uh, beliefs and what he stands for. And I, I do primarily a lot of uh, uplifting black art. Uh, a lot of people see you know, themselves in my artwork. They see black excellence. They see a, 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 a new twist on things that they have maybe seen before. And I think that those pieces really sit in Damari well because they bring good conversation. If I had to give a message to a younger me um, that's struggling to find what they want to do or they have doubts or other people kind of doubt them, I'd say, fuck them. You know what I mean? Um, only, only you know what's best for you. Don't let anybody else try to project their insecurities onto you. Don't let anybody try to tell you what your dream should be because you know in your heart what you're here to do. And I think when you can do that, you'll start to really believe the greatness within you and move like a, like a bullet train.